Good morning, students. This is your fourth lecture uh, based on the grammar, and in this gra in this lecture, we shall deal with a new topic, and that is what preposition. This preposition plays very important role in the construction of the sentence. If suppose there is no preposition used by you in the construction of the sentence, it will be totally meaningless. This is what I can say. Okay. Before that, let me clarify what is the meaning of this preposition. What we use in front of the position, or what we use in order to show the position of the noun, that is called what? Preposition. So, pre is one prefix that we are using in front of the word position. Preposition. It is a usually short word that we are using before noun before noun student it is also used to link noun pronoun phrase to other words within the sentence student it may place before the gerund and all of you have seen what is the meaning of what gerund gerund comes in the topic gerunds gerunds are what do you remember something what we have learned last year in the gerund student Jiren plays the role of noun as well as what? Word. Swimming is the good exercise. What is the jiren here? Swimming. Yes or no? Okay. Moving forward, student. Most prepositions are interchangeable. That means they are playing the role of this preposition of time. Preposition of what? Uh, place also, student. Yes or no? <clears throat> Only specified prepositions are used for certain uh, conditions so that that brings the connectivity of what to sentence clearly in the sentence student. okay student this preposition had a relationship with the following things now i will explain you what are this or what are this relation it plays the relationship between two nouns in the sentence it plays the relationship between verb and the noun student it plays the relationship between adjective pronoun and the uh, now student now how is it I'll explain you with the help of what example well, the first example the necklace is on the table the necklace is on the table what is the the necklace it's a noun yes or no where it is placed on the table and what is that noun it is also a noun so it comes in between two nouns understood so it shows the relationship between noun and a noun now another example I want to give you is that about come up the apex. Apex means what? It's a part of the house. If you go in European part of the country, student, the house are like this apex part. That means topmost part of the house that is called apex part. So come is what verb, student. Come is what verb. Up is what student. It's a preposition that we are using to show the direction, student. And apex, it's a place. Noun student. And the last example, Smita is a fool of her age. Sir, so what is this fool? That means he is a matured person, but sometimes he behaves like an immature person. At that time, we use this word fool. Got to everybody? Yes. So adjective plus it is interrelating. It is having link between adjective, pronoun, and the noun student. What everybody? Yes or no? Yes, I hope so. Now let's proceed. Let's proceed the first kind of a preposition and that is what? Object of the preposition. See student, <clears throat> in, uh, in verb, we have learned, we have learned two type of verb student, transitive verb and intransitive. Transitive means what? Oh, action when passes from verb to object, it is called what? Transitive. And when action stops at verb, then it is called what? Intransitive. Remember this transitive and intransitive plays very vital role. That means object, finding the object that plays a very vital role student in this preposition. Now let's see the first one. Now an example I want to give you. Sunita is in the Sahara Desert. Sunita. Where is she? In the Sahara Desert. In is what? preposition after the preposition the sahara desert comes and what is the sahara desert comes object action of being in the sahara desert is past okay this is one okay 
preposition is in as I told you and Sahara Desert is what? Object Sudan. Some uh, prepositions are commonly uh, used, what we are using when we are constructing the sentences what Sudan? On, to, for, with and as these are particular 111 words we can also call them as a single student. Plus I want to tell you something more is that uh, students preposition tells us about uh, preposition of time, preposition of place, preposition of movement or direction and preposition of what student possessions also student. Now let's proceed further for the uh, next preposition that is preposition in the question. <coughs> object of them. But in this preposition of question you notice down there are use in order to give more focus with the object of the preposition. How is it? I'll explain it. It is used in the last word. Now an example, what did you step on? It might be happen anything. I step on the gun, I step on the insect, I step on the food, whatever it is out there. But on is used where it is what? Object of the preposition okay coming to the topic next that is what complex <coughs> preposition the complex preposition that contains two or more words but they act one they shows that they are working one student for example along with apart from in view top of next to apart from these are the complex one. Now, can you construct one example of uh, each? I'll give you the example. Along with, along with you, you have to, along with your original document, you have to come with your Xerox copy also. This is one. In that uh, context, we are using with along, along with student. Then, in view, in my view, you are the real culprit in this case. Yes or no? On the top of this, you are showing me your hesitation. This is what student. See, I am using this complex preposition student. Apart from this fair copy, I want to see your rough copy also student. So these are the complex uh, preposition that we can use in the construction student. What are the place? The place indicates that preposition giving us information about the place where the things are taking place student or it is happening. Normally we use student what a single preposition take the example of a at and in uh, oblique on a student this at and in we are using it but it varies it differs from each other if suppose we are using in this sentence now take the example at for what purpose we are using at at shows certain place but it may be inside or we may be near to that place at that time we are using what student at student then in in shows in is a single preposition yes or no student this in shows we are inside that room or we are inside in that object student remember so therefore when you are saying therefore we are saying i am in the shop it is totally different and when you are saying that i am at the shop that is totally different student okay moving forward student preposition of time with the help of this word preposition of time you can understand time means what giving us information yes or no and I, as I told you students some of the prepositions can be interchangeable in the beginning of the explanation I told you some prepositions can be used for the place and same can be used for the time and same can be used for the place student now preposition of time it conveys the idea of a time it is similar to the preposition of the place okay but uses are totally different. Now take the example at time. You have to reach school at 9 o'clock. That means it is mandatory for you people. You have to reach at 9 o'clock. After 9 o'clock it will be marked as a late. Remember the use of at in the time and use of at for the place student. Now in. Now in. In. In shows for a long period of a time. This time we have got a good winter season. You know it very well. Winter season is not for one month, two months, three months. It's for a four month of that. So whatever enjoyment we have got. It may be in first month. It may be in the second month. It may be in the third month. It may be in the fourth month. So therefore I said. In is used for the long period of a time. Student. 
and the last one is what student on on shows a particular date on which the event is taking place we celebrate 15th of august we celebrate we celebrate great parade on 15th of august that means on particular date student okay on diwali we will celebrate or we will worship goddess lakshmi student yes so the preposition of the direction it shows the direction or the movement of something or someone with a respect to the certain things so that now for example around for example around then from then against then between student let me explain you for the around around word you people are using in the geography very frequently earth revolves around the sun in a particular direction it is showing the movement over there yes so no correct then against i am fighting against my enemy over there that means specific direction is there in which you are approaching over there then towards the roman army is approaching from the northern part of the country that means the roman enemies roman army they are approaching towards us from the northern it is showing us direction of when uh, by using this word between and among over there between is used to show the thing what is the uh, to show the thing to show the thing in two bit two objects over there and among is used among is used in the group of the people that is what and the another two examples i want to give you is what student decide and decides beside me my father was sitting in the bus beside this document i want original document over there this is the different student this is the different student okay there are so there are lot many example students uh, we have seen in the candy last year student that's i want if if you want to be a perfect in this preposition you have to go through that examples again and again and try to use it in your day to day communication in the english of that along with this explanation we are giving you the pdf that pdf exercise pdf exercise or exercise you have to solve upload it on and thank you stay safe